Summer movie season is officially here. Whether it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a Pixar animated movie, or simply running from dinosaurs, just about everything you want to see is hitting the big screen this summer. Let's take a look at part one of my top 20 summer movies ranked by excitement. Hey everybody, Dragon Movie Guy here. The most anticipated flicks of the year are about to hit the big screen, including a Top Gun sequel 36 years in the making. This is part one of my top 20 summer movies, the top 10 movies from May and June, and keep in mind, release dates are accurate as of this video's release. In at number 10 is Senior Year, Rebel Wilson's new comedy. I had the hot boyfriend, and all that was left was prom queen. <laughs> A high school cheerleader who spent the last 20 years in a coma, Rebel Wilson plays Stephanie Conway, a girl who wakes up a woman whom life has passed by. She finds out quickly that the more things change, the more they stay the same. Didn't have the heart to change it. Madonna's now called Lady Gaga? No. It looks like the 37-year-old who never graduated heads back to high school and back to the cheer squad but Stephanie's world of exclusivity and achievement has been replaced with one of inclusivity and acceptance. And that weirds the ever-loving F out of her. Is that cheer captain? I am the cheer captain. I am the cheer captain. Do you love it? That is the most fucked up thing I've ever heard. Steph? Senior year streams on Netflix, May 13th. In at number nine is Firestarter, a remake of the 1984 horror classic based off the Stephen King hit novel. If you ever start to lose control, what do you do? It didn't work. Charlie? They're gonna run tests on her for the rest of her life. Ryan Kiara Armstrong steps into the role of Charlie McGee, played by Drew Barrymore in the first film. Zac Efron also joins the cast as Charlie's father, Andy, played by David Keith in the original. Andy tries to teach Charlie to control her emerging powers, but growing up isn't easy, especially for kids with superpowers. You're special, Charlie. I'm not special, I'm a monster! <laughs> This remake comes from horror super producer Jason Blum and Blumhouse Productions, which also did remakes of Fantasy Island and The Invisible Man recently. The trailer for Firestarter feels like a similar film to those two successful reboots, and Ryan Kiara Anderson feels like she's got an interesting take on the lead character of Charlie. She may be capable of a nuclear explosion Run, Charlie! with the force of her mind. The whole world going to hell. Firestarter hits theaters May 13th. In at number eight is The Black Phone, with Ethan Hawke playing a creepy child kidnapper with an even creepier windowless fan. King. You need some help? Would you hand me my hat? Are those black balloons in there? Would you like to see a magic trick? Mason Tame stars as the missing boy, Finney James, who gets kidnapped by the Grabber. There are obvious similarities to Stephen King's It, a missing boy from the suburbs, balloons floating through the air, and a creepy clown slash magician surrounded by supernatural abilities. Does it work? Not since I was a kid. I'll scratch your face. This face? Also in this film is Madeline McGraw as Gwen Shaw, Finney's little sister. It looks like their sibling connection is so strong, she has dreams about her missing brother, hopefully leading to getting him back from the grabber. I had a dream about us. What happened in your dream? He was taken. Please let the dreams be real. It's a combination lock. What's the combination? I carved it in the wall. The Black Phone hits theaters June 24. If you're liking this video so far, please be sure to hit the like button until it turns black. That helps out with the algorithm. In at number seven is Press Play, a time travel love story with I Am Mother's Clara Rugard as a woman trying to save her boyfriend's life with a mixtape. You have this tangible thing right there in front of you. I'm from the future. Like, ho hoverboard future? You're gonna die. Press Play looks like a cross between the time traveler's wife and About Time, where a young couple bonds over surfing and music. And after the untimely death of Harrison, played by Lewis Pullman, Laura must time travel with the help of an old school mixtape to save her boyfriend's life. Music transcends space and time, but I've always thought it was just a metaphor. This looks like a well-executed drama with a sci-fi premise where the focus is on the emotion and the journey instead of the science fiction technobabble. 
Danny Glover also stars as Cooper and looks to be the trusted older character with sage words of wisdom that will be completely ignored. Most people only get one shot being with the person they love. You've been given two. I can't just sit here and just let him die. I have to try. Press play hits theaters June 24th. In at number six is Hustle, Adam Sandler's latest film about a washed up scout who's discovered the latest basketball phenom. I love this game. I live this game. There's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Utah Jazz forward Juancho Hernan Gomez plays Bo Cruz, a basketball prospect that Stanley Sugarman discovers playing on the streets in Spain. The talent is there, but Sugarman must ask him if he's got the heart. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? You walk on that court, Look at me. you have to think I am the best guy out there. Hey. Hustle looks like a fast-paced, inspirational, anything-is-possible flick that transcends the world of sports. We don't see much of Hernan Gomez's acting in the trailer, but Adam Sandler's Sugarman looks like his best character in years. So let me ask you again, do you love this game? Hustle streams on Netflix June 10th. In at number five is Jurassic World Dominion, the third film in the Jurassic World trilogy, and the sixth overall film in the Jurassic Park franchise. Ellie Sattler. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? The OG trio of Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum all return to the franchise, and not just in cameo roles. Alan Grant, Ellie Sadler, and Ian Malcolm are all running for their lives alongside Jurassic World stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. We not only lack dominion over nature, we're subordinate to it. Clearly, the human clone caused ecological disaster that was somehow celebrated at the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has had the predictable results since the last film ended. Owen Grady and Claire Deering return as well, not seem to have learned their lessons either. It's another plane, right? Not exactly. Jurassic World Dominion hits theaters June 10th. To see more ranking videos like this one, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button until it turns white. That'll let you know whenever I post a new video. In at number four is Lightyear, Pixar's literal movie from within the movie of the original Toy Story. Well, let's go find out if this... We got a breach in the perimeter. Captain America's Chris Evans steps in as the voice of Buzz Lightyear. Buzz finds himself surrounded by a hopeful cast of characters as Buzz and the entirety of Star Command tries to make its way home. The dangers are everywhere, including those closest to Buzz. Let's get everyone home. Good luck, Captain. I love everything Pixar and expect them to give the highest level of animation out of any CGI studio. Lightyear looks like it balances that cutting edge animation with the look and feel of the original 1995 Toy Story. I remember watching the original Toy Story in theaters, but never wondering more about the world of Buzz Lightyear himself. That is, until seeing the trailers for this film. We're being pursued by a... Just a massive robot! <laughs> Lightyear hits theaters June 17th. In at number three is Marcel the Shell with shoes on. What's life like? It's pretty much common knowledge that it takes at least 20 shells to have a community. Saturday Night Live alum Jenny Slate's short film series Marcel the Shell gets adapted for the big screen 12 years after first appearing on YouTube. Marcel is voiced by Jenny Slate, an anthropomorphized shell living with his grandma Connie, Grandma Connie is voiced by Isabel Rossellini. We like to watch 60 Minutes because Leslie Stahl is fearless. Nana, make the noise. It looks like Marcel the Shell goes on a cross-country journey to find and save his family in this stop-motion animated feature film. Every other summer movie on my list looks to be in the bigger is better category, while Marcel does the exact opposite. It's fascinating to see such a small movie directly compete with all of the big summer blockbusters. How long has it been since you've seen your family? The space in my heart gets bigger and louder every day. Dean, do you know how long? That's two years. Two years. Yeah. Oh, that's nice to know. Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. It's theaters June 24th. My whole life was about school, but it's the summer before college. 
and I want to change that. Along for the ride features Emma Passero as Auden, a young woman on the brink of college, enjoying a summer off and a romantic fling before the real studying starts. Andy McDowell and Dermot Mulroney play Auden's parents in this coming-of-age Netflix drama. Written and directed by Sofia Alvarez, along for the ride streams on Netflix May 6th. If you put enough of yourself into a design, it's gonna hit. Once I slip on that sneaker, it's my story. Sneakerella stars Chosen Jacobs as L, a modern-day gender bend on the classic Cinderella tale. Elle is an up-and-coming sneakerhead who custom designs shoes and dreams of working his way up in the clothing industry. NBA veteran John Sally stars alongside Colton Stewart and Lexi Underwood. Sneakerella streams on Disney Plus on May 13th. My husband went upstairs to our balcony and let himself go. You must wonder why you drove him to it. Why? I didn't drive him to it. Academy Award nominee Jesse Buckley returns to the big screen in writer-director Alex Garland's new sci-fi drama horror flick, Men. Mourning her husband's death, Harper goes on vacation to the English countryside for some R&R, &R, but something doesn't seem right. Rory Kinnear and Gail Raskin also star in this creepy and isolating look at a woman's fight against the patriarchy. Men is in theaters May 20. In at number two is Top Gun Maverick, the high-flying sequel bringing back Maverick, Iceman, and even Goose's son, 37 years in the making. Everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they gonna get to teach us? Pete Maverick Mitchell. You are not my first choice. You are here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. Tom Cruise returns as Maverick, still flying fighter jets and thumbing his nose at authority. This time he replaces Tom Skerritt as the head of Top Gun to teach a new generation of pilots the best dogfighting skills in the world. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Miles Teller joins the cast as Goose's son, along with Jennifer Connelly, Ed Harris, and John Hamm. Manny Jacinto, India Everett, Jay Ellis, and Liliana Ray also join the cast as the next generation of pilots. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Top Gun Maverick hits theaters May 27. In at number one is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, the 28th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the sequel to the 2016 original Doctor Strange. Your desecration of reality will not go unpunished. Fresh off his appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home, Benedict Cumberbatch returns as the Sorcerer Supreme in the first true horror film in the MCU. Joining him is fellow Avenger Wanda Maximoff, played by Elizabeth Olsen, now fully emerged as the Scarlet Witch. Wanda. Oh, I knew sooner or later you'd show up. I made mistakes. I'm not here to talk about Westview. Sam Raimi steps in to direct this film as the multiverse fully opens up after being hinted at in the last two Spider-Man movies. Patrick Stewart even is credited as what can only be assumed to be Professor Xavier coming over from the Fox X-Men universe. But the obvious enemy in this flick is Chiwetel Ejiofor's Mordo, disillusioned with his beliefs after the end of the first film. I hope you understand the greatest threat to our universe is you. Things just got out of hand. You've seen my list? Now tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments section down below. Which movies are you looking forward to watching the most this summer? To see my top 10 summer movies for July and August, please be sure to click right over here. I've been Dragon Movie Guy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.